Chiang Rai City remains a sleepy provincial town with a pleasant atmosphere. Compared to its sister town Chiang Mai, it has a more relaxed and down to earth feel but is never short on historical and cultural attractions of its own. Would Chiang Rai City be your retirement destination? As of now, we're both planning and excited to move to Thailand to check it out very soon as a potential retirement destination among many others and we thought before leaving, creating a Thailand series of some of the cities we're potentially thinking of going to. Hello everyone, this is Ronan Blue and if you're new to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about how my girlfriend and I achieved financial independence and debt freedom two years back since paying off our mortgage. With my newfound freedom, I talk about how we made it happen, the types of passive income that we have that anyone could implement, our thoughts of early retirement overseas, personal thoughts and general financial issues. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our weekly content full of information helping you get the financial independence yourself. Just as a disclaimer, the information provided is a general guide and to be used for educational purposes only. Now Chiang Rai is in Thailand's northernmost province and sits on the Southeast Asia Backpacker Trail. It's often a traveler's last stop in Thailand before crossing in Laos. There's actually no coast and no beach in Chiang Rai, but there's a river area where locals like to visit. It isn't the most popular place for expats to be, but it's well known to be more affordable than most other Thailand cities. Keep in mind that it's a city driven by industry rather than tourism and it receives only a handful of tourists. But there are a lot of hidden gems that many people aren't aware of. But let's get into more points about Chiang Rai coming now. Number 1. Facts about Chiang Rai Chiang Rai has a population of a little over 70,000 and is a sleepy provincial town. It has its relaxed and down to earth feel but it has its historical and cultural attractions. It was founded in 1262 as the capital of the Mangarai dynasty and today the city retains a strong Lana identity. Lana refers to the ancient kingdom that covered most parts of northern Thailand. It has an impressive collection of temples, art, language, cuisine and music. It also has an impressive diversity of ethnic minorities, hill tribes and you'll find that most of the Thailand's hill tribes live here. The city is slowly developing its tourist sectors with its night bazaar, Saturday walking street and jazz festivals. There's a riverside but it's mostly underdeveloped. There's also a long tail boat you can hire to take in the scenery along the two river banks. Chiang Rai is a very safe city but like in other cities in the world there are always dangerous things you need to avoid which I'll talk about later in this vlog. Number 2. Food in Chiang Rai Chiang Rai has this northern Thai food that is often called Lana food. People in Chiang Rai prefer steamed glutinous rice, traditionally kneaded into small balls with the fingers. The noodles and curries are generally milder than those of central and northeastern Thailand. But let's look at some of the selection they have here. Noodle soup or curry. This is with fresh rice noodles and spicy tomato infused in a broth. The combination of both becomes unique northern Thai noodle soup. Beef or pork, usually pork is the main ingredient as well as diced curdled chicken blood cake. Chopped tomatoes give the dish a certain sour flavor and crispy roasted or fried dried chilies and garlic are added for spiciness. There are minced pork balls and generous chunks of jellified pig blood mixed with rice noodles and served in a thin tomato and spice infused pork broth. There is also additions of lime, bean sprouts, pickled cabbage and cat mo, deep fried pork skin. Unripe Jackfruit Curry This is a hot and sour soup which infuses an added fruity flavoring of young unripe jackfruit and the northern Thai flavor of cherry tomatoes. They come with chunks of pork. Northern Thai Sausage You can easily find this dish in most market streets in the city. This tasty spiced pork sausage is found everywhere in the north and it's not to be missed. There's a sour of lemongrass, lime leaves and heat of chilies and ginger. There's also night markets here as well that offer the usual snacks and meals you can expect to find at a Thai market. The food courts are a minute walk from one another as well. There's western food here as well but you'd be paying a higher price compared to the local foods. You can also find a combination of Thai and western meals at any restaurant as well. But it's highly recommended that you try out the local foods. Might be surprised to find something that's better than that hamburger. For vegans and vegetarians, there's lots of choices for you as well and you can also request changes at restaurants as needed. Number 3. Places to live in Chiang Rai The easiest way to find a rental property is online. Rental websites in Thailand like Hip Flat and DD Property would be a good start. Keep in mind that Chiang Rai is both a district and a province and you'll need to look for Mong Chiang Rai when looking for a place. 
Now Chiang Rai is a very big city. Driving from one district to another district takes up to two to three hours. It has the convenience for everything such as restaurants, shopping, hospitals, and health services. Some districts have better facilities, bigger shopping centers, and better medical care. Although living in Chiang Rai is comfortable, there are places a little outside of it as well, like Chiang Kong, that is a good option located away from Chiang Rai, about 1.5 hours by car. It has beautiful scenery along the Mai Khan River, and the opposite is Lao. There's a popular Tesco Lotus supermarket there as well. The hospital known as Chiang Kong Crown Prince Hospital has a good standard of healthcare for basic healthcare, but there are few specialist doctors. For specialists, you'll need to go to the Chiang Rai City Provincial Hospital. Number 4. Entertainment in Chiang Rai Many people aren't inspired to stay long in Chiang Rai because of the lack of attractions that are little mentioned over the internet. But there are plenty of things to do in the city. Kong Korn Waterfall Northern Thailand is mountainous with lots of waterfalls. Kong Korn Waterfall is probably the best Chiang Rai waterfall and you can take a dip in the waterfall when you get there. There's many other waterfalls as well with places to take hikes through nature. The Night Markets there is a main Chiang Rai night bazaar open every night 7 days a week but there are night markets on both Saturday and Sunday night as well. The Saturday walking street market is a highlight but most of the vendors are the same on both Saturday and Sunday. The Saturday night market offers a mix of stalls for locals and tourists. There's hill tribe crafts, winter clothing, toys and trinkets plus great street food. At the night bazaar, you'll find a huge food court with hundreds of tables and stalls piled high with fried foods. Clock Tower The clock tower acts as a centerpiece. The gold structure is a great landmark during the day and comes alive three times after the sun sets. At 7pm, 8pm and 9pm, the tower lights up with music. It's worth timing one of your visits to the night markets to see the clock tower light up. There are also some nice cafes and coffee shops right there near the clock tower in Chiang Rai city. The street lamps and other decorations around Chiang Rai are immense and really peak at the clock tower. The white temple. This palace is packed with tourists all day. It's interesting inside with cartoon characters like Pikachu, Spider-Man and Harry Potter. The temple was designed by a Thai visual artist and the artwork found on the interior is not what you would expect from a functioning Buddhist temple. The modern day artwork has scenes from movies or news reports or paintings of characters from the 1980s. Unfortunately, cameras are not allowed inside. Number 5. Cost of living in Chiang Rai How much it costs to live anywhere is always difficult to answer. It really depends on your lifestyle. But the cost of living in Chiang Rai could be very affordable if done right. A meal at an inexpensive restaurant would be $1.63 between $1.30 and $2.44. A meal for two people at a mid-range restaurant for a three-course meal would be $16 between $9.78 and $32 USD. Basic utilities for an apartment would be $61 between $22 and $97 USD. The internet would be $23 between $13 and $39 USD. A fitness club would be $40 between $32 and $48 USD. An apartment one bedroom in city centre would be $195 between $130 and $228 USD per month. An apartment one bedroom outside of city centre would be $130 between $81 and $162 USD per month. An apartment three bedrooms in city centre would be $570 between $391 and $977 per month. An apartment 3 bedrooms outside a city center would be $325 between $260 and $325 USD per month. For grocery shopping, it isn't always a good idea to just look at the price tag for everything. You'll find some really great deals but only picking up the cheapest items may not be the healthiest choices and the quality of food should be looked at. Some things are more on the expensive side however such as cheese, blueberries, cherries and grapefruits. But overall, it should be way more affordable than back home. It could average around $300 USD a month for a couple without alcohol since we don't drink. Number 6. Pros and Cons for Chiang Rai Chiang Rai is in the middle of Laos and Myanmar, giving you an opportunity to visit these countries for a few days. This does mean that there is no coast and therefore no beach in Chiang Rai as mentioned earlier. Chiang Rai has become a modern city of northern Thai however. 
There's a central plaza, a multi-story shopping complex offering all kinds of modern amenities. There's even a supermarket that offers western food. There are all kinds of technology that are available. But being in Chiang Rai, if there are any malfunctions, then it will have to be sent to Bangkok and take at least a month before it's returned. Although Chiang Rai is very safe, there are some of the following cons to look at, however. The road death toll in Thailand is among the highest in the world. Over 26,000 people are killed in road accidents every year in Thailand, apparently third in the world. Don't expect people on the road will respect road rules, especially in Chiang Rai. Motorcycles are the leaders. Just be careful in driving and with whom you're driving with. You're putting your life in their hands. There are authorized metered taxis, grabs like Uber, tuk-tuks, walking and bicycles are also good ways to travel too. Keep in mind that drugs are an extremely serious crime in Thailand and has a mandatory death sentence for drug smuggling. It's reduced to life imprisonment for foreigners. Chiang Rai is also known to have the highest number of people infected with dengue fever in Thailand. But as long as you don't sleep naked, it's quite low that you'll get it. Thai food is delicious, but sometimes it comes with a price. The rate of food poisoning in Thailand is high. It affects everyone in Thailand, not just the tourists. It's because Thailand has little or no food preparation and food processing standards. Don't expect that food from nice restaurants would be cleaner than side carts on the street either. But eating food on the street has become part of Thailand's daily culture. Missing the opportunity to try food on the street means missing the whole point of visiting a country. In many occasions, you want to eat like the locals. Avoiding food poisoning doesn't mean you have to skip all local dishes. There are a few ways to prevent it while enjoying local Thai food. Don't try local dishes on the first day. Instead, order a mixed dish between local and your home country menus. Give your stomach to adapt to local ingredients. You can look for a restaurant that has a mix of locals and tourist customers. After one to two days, start trying local dishes. Also, don't drink the tap water. Always drink bottled water with a recognized brand. Ice is also a good source of bacteria and other contamination. Avoid putting ice in your water. Chiang Rai also has food made from raw meat that should be reserved for locals only. Try and avoid raw meat. Sometimes you have to also be careful of raw vegetables and fruits as they are often washed in tap water. Stick with well-cooked meals to ensure bacteria, viruses and parasites have been killed. This next point isn't dangerous, but it's something you should be aware of. The things in Thailand are cheap and because of the exchange rate, they are even cheaper for some foreigners. Because of the low price, tourists have a tendency to overpay for things without even having a second thought. The local people do know about this and there are many stores and shop owners who just sit and wait for tourists and take advantage of them. We live a pretty frugal lifestyle, so scams and being taken advantage should be easily avoided for us. But in Chiang Rai, overcharge for foreigners in restaurants in modern markets is very rare. Both locals and tourists know there's a standard price for common goods. But in local markets, local people are friendly to visitors and normally provide the same rate for both locals and travelers. Watch out for services that don't have price tags which are put to sell to tourists. There are fare, tuk-tuk, taxis, etc., souvenir items, gems, silver, local cloths, and handcrafts in tourist destinations. To avoid this, just do a little research before buying anything. For a tuk-tuk, ask for the fare first and make sure the driver agrees what amount you're to pay. Chiang Rai does have metered taxis, a better choice as you don't have to bargain, but only pay based on the meter. Same goes for Grab. You can also learn some Thai to ask for a discount. When it comes to work, unfortunately there isn't a huge range of work opportunities for foreigners in Chiang Rai. Except for teaching, there really isn't a job market. Most expats in Chiang Rai are teachers either at one or many local schools or one of the two international schools. There are a few thinking out of the box who play professional online poker, run e-commerce stores, working in hostels and doing long-term volunteering. There's also a smoke and air quality issue each year when slash burning occurs around March and April. If you have mild asthma, it's highly recommended you avoid these times. Although we talked about the bad points, let's talk about the good points on why you should choose Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai would be one of the cheapest cities in Thailand and Thailand would be one of the most affordable countries on earth. So it makes one of the cheapest cities in the world to live. The food is good, the weather is great, and the people are nice. Thai food is also one of the healthiest foods on the planet. 
They produce their own natural resources. There's rice, livestock, and all vegetables required for any menu. Thai people are very polite and friendly. English isn't spoken in most cases, so keep in mind that they will likely not come to you and offer help. But if you need something, keep asking the people around you. Eventually, you'll find somebody that does speak a little. If they don't understand or don't want to help, they will just simply walk away. Because the majority of the Thai don't speak English, you may want to learn Thai to make Thai friends to avoid social isolation. You'll be able to integrate with society and you won't get too homesick. Chiang Rai is also known to have some of the best national hospitals. The quality and standard are the same level as Bangkok and Phuket. Dental could be one of the most expensive healthcare you can spend on. But not in Thailand, especially in Chiang Rai. In the city, there are plenty of excellent dentists and dental implants that are nearly two-thirds of the price of Bangkok and make it one-fourth of Western countries. Thailand is hot, but Chiang Rai is considered to be the coolest city in the country. Still, the average temperature is around 28 degrees Celsius during spring and it might go up to 33 degrees in summer and drops to 22 degrees in winter. More often than not, it actually rains for only an hour and usually in the afternoon in rainy season. If you prefer cooler weather, Chiang Rai is the best choice. There are a lot of things to do in Chiang Rai as well. It offers countless waterfalls, amazing hiking trails, ancient cities, and hill tribes communities. Allow the right amount of time and you are sure to discover the most amazing province Thailand has to offer. Chiang Rai is a small town compared to Bangkok and Chiang Mai, but there is still a large community of expats. Festivals are common in Chiang Rai. Every month there will be some kind of party going on within a few miles of where you live. It's been described like traveling a bit more into the unknown, providing more opportunities for authentic experiences off the tourist trail. Chiang Rai is also a lot cheaper than other parts of Thailand, whether renting a property or just going out for a few drinks. But the entertainment can be limited. But if your retirement dreams include a beautiful climate, new cultural experiences, access to affordable healthcare, and a lower cost of living, you may be thinking about retiring abroad to Thailand. You always have the option to hop from one city to the next, which we are planning to do. Well, tell me what you think of moving to Chiang Rai in the comment section below. If you like this vlog, please don't forget to give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell for more of my coming content here. Thank you for watching my vlog. I hope you have a great day and see you soon.